Hello, boys and girls. I'm Valerie Lewis, and today's broadcast, today's message is brought to you by the numbers 20 and 26. I'm going to give y'all some angel numbers today for this week's message. So I'm going to read straight from my book on angel numbers. Number 20 is our first number message for the week, the week of Monday, November 6th. Gratitude. 20 is gratitude. Boost your energy levels. Being thankful for what you have aligns you with divine light and love. Your angels want you to focus on that today and feel good while doing it. Pin a letter to your future self describing what you have presently that makes you feel grateful. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude is actually the theme of the month for my membership group. Not to give a plug for my membership group, but I'm going to give a plug for my membership group. The price is now $22 to join. I hope you join, but even if you don't, gratitude as a daily practice is what we are focused on. We all generally, maybe we don't personally know it, but we've heard of how amazing having gratitude is. I am encouraging you all to not just have gratitude and not just practice gratitude, but make it a daily practice. Make it part of your spiritual daily practice practice. That's what I am personally whoop, dropped my or my box. That is what I am personally trying to do. And I encourage you all to take that journey with me. Making gratitude part of your daily practice will benefit you in so many ways that I can't even list them all. Um, I am doing an event at the end of November, the very end, November 30th, based on the concept of gratitude. So I invite you to join that if you are a member of my Tarot Meetups, Tarot Meetups a member of my meetup group, Tarot Unicorns and Coffee. But regardless of all of that, whether you don't come, you don't come to an event, you join, don't join the membership, whatever, you're listening to this message now, and this message is from Spirit. Incorporate more gratitude into your daily practices. The second number, number 26. <clears throat> 26, according to this book, is Money Flows. Money is energy. Prepare yourself to receive it. And the message is abundance is coming to you in all forms and one way it can be and one way it can present itself is financially. Now again, these are angel numbers. These are messages from the angels from the angelic realm to you. Gratitude, there's that word again. Gratitude creates the clearest pathway to you. So speaking about money and abundance flowing into your life if you want to install a pipeline that comes from the divine and spirit just dumps into that pipeline and that pipeline comes all the way down to you and pours into your physical life and gives you all of the abundance that you could ever want desire wish for that pipeline it's built from gratitude gratitude is the pathway the pipeline for the divine to get its abundance to you and abundance is infinite but it needs it needs a, a a vessel it needs a conduit it needs a way to flow into your life so our part is opening up those pipelines opening up those conduits making that connection with the divine so that we can experience unlimited infinite abundance the last part of this message is sit in meditation today and reflect with a grateful heart on all that you already have been blessed with in life so you see how those two numbers tie in with each other Gratitude, gratitude for what we have. There's so many different ways to practice gratitude. And sometimes I will admit, I know when you are in a stucky, a stucky, a sticky place in life, when you are in a challenging place in life, when you are in a place in life where things are not the way you want them to be, it's hard to find gratitude at times. It can be hard to find gratitude because you say to yourself, or at least I say it to myself, my life feels like shit. And I refuse to be grateful for the shit. I'm with you. I know. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. But here's what I'm saying to you. There are ways to be grateful even when you are in the midst of challenge. Even when you are facing obstacles. There are ways to be grateful. And I hope you find those ways. Um, and if you need a little help with finding those ways, please come to my event on November 30th. Because we're going to talk all about that. Um, but there's so many tools out there. Um gratitude oh what's it called the gratitude no the miracle 
The Miracle Experiment, I think that's what it's called. It's a book on gratitude that I'm currently reading now um, that I recommend because it talks exactly about that when you are in a challenging situation or when you are facing um, different things in your life that don't feel like something you want to be grateful for. This book specifically talks about how you can still find gratitude in the moment, even when you're facing challenges. So I will make sure I figure out what the actual title of that book is and put it in the, the email or put it in the, um, the comment section of this video. But that's what I have for you today for this week. Practice more gratitude. Allow that gratitude to build that connection, to build that conduit to the divine so that you can experience more abundance in your life. See you next week.